Well, my my opinion are my opinion is that it's a that it's a it's a it's a shame. It's just that, that we've we've gone beyond that uh, to where. Equal rights in terms of uh, uh, civil um, uh, fiduciary uh, equality for, um, um, for for gay and lesbian partnerships, and it's so, you know what is the big deal? I just don't get it. Um, it's very interesting because uh, uh, so, some friends of mine uh, who are gay uh, having a dinner in New York, and um, they also were not willing to move from Hillary to Obama, and part of the reason was that in his convention speech, he had said that in, in the section when he's talking about finding a common ground, he had said that at least we can agree that our gay and lesbian brothers should have the right to visit their loved ones in hospitals who are sick. And my gay friends were furious with him because he was talking about a right they, feel, they felt they already had, and they, he wasn't addressing the more important pressing issues of the day having to do with Proposition 8, and they were furious at him. Talking about single uh, issue, issue voters, it becomes so emotional um, and it's so out of the realm of, of rash, rational uh, reason and common sense that it becomes emotional uh, and, and uh, you know, it, it's time to move on. And I, I, it's very interesting that I picked Rick Warren for the convocation. And, I have a feeling that it's a way to reach out to a symbol and kind of bring them into the uh, fold and bring it out into, that's the best way to, to talk about uh, oppositional thinking. That's the best way to bring that discussion up because Rick Warren is now under pressure to, to speak about the subject and is ameliorating and, and changing kind of the way he's expressing himself. I think it was a brilliant move personally.